Hi, I'm Christina Roth here for Neon Tommy at Grauman's Egyptian Theater in Hollywood, where there's a screening of Outside the Law, which is the sequel to the Academy Award nominated film Days of Glory. The book that it was based on is banned in Iran. Can you tell it me? It is indeed. It was written by a French Iranian journalist named Faridun Sahibjam, and it came out in France in the 90s, and it was kind of a bestseller, but then it was uh, promptly banned in Iran. And he, he was also banned from returning to Iran. Do you think that governments should have an impact on books that are written, films? What sort of role should they play in that? I mean, I, I believe in free speech, so <laughs> I, I don't really believe in a censorship of, of art. Because I've heard about this film tonight, Outside the Law, there's been some criticism, um, French political parties saying it's uh, anti-French. A lot of films can be seen in a lot of different ways, and you can't censor them based on a, a one group believing that it's anti another group. I mean, a lot of people, you know, thought of this, the, our, our film, some people thought of it as anti-Islam, some people thought of it as, you know, anti-death penalty, anti-US, you know what I mean? It could, be, it could be sort of seen in so many different ways that it's dizzying, you know. And can you tell me a little bit about the play you were in? in Hearts of Desire? Yeah. Uh, it was uh, it was a it was a one woman show about the lives of nine different Iraqi women, and uh, I played them all. <laughs> and it was at the Geffen, and then also at Berkeley Rep. And is it um, still touring now? Is anyone else doing it? Or I so I think it kind of <laughs> I think it did that. Time. Yeah, I mean no, they the woman who originated it who wrote it, um, she did it a lot. She did it in various ways. She did it in New York and. And then other people have done it, and it's been translated. People have done it in Greece and France and South America, and so it it, ha it has had a life mm -hmm. for sure. But I think, I think it, I think it had its life. <laughs> That's my sense. And what was interesting about the different women's stories? Well, I mean, because they they were all Iraqi, but some of them were expats, and so they had a particular a particular perspective that is that was the expat perspective, and then within that, a particular British expat perspective or an American expat perspective and so there's a lot of like commenting on what's going on and then from uh, then the characters that were living in, in Iraq were like how dare they comment on what's going on how dare how can anyone judge us when they don't you know so there's this there was sort of a, even a conflict in in voice in in perspective within the within the characters yeah Great. So, um, what are you working on now? Any projects coming up? Yes, I'm on The Mentalist, and I'm on a show called The Paul Reiser Show. It's a comedy. So they're both kind of one I've finished shooting, and we're waiting to see when it airs, and then the other one. I'm so this film starts where Days of Glory left off. Yes. Why do you think it's important to continue the story? Because I have after this one another movie to continue after 1960 to 2000, because it's important to have all history between France and um, I heard that the president of France yes. recently came out with a statement saying how they should have um, kind of recognized the people from Algeria who fought for France in the war. Yes, yes. This, you know, when I finish a movie named Days of Glory, I have a meeting with Jacques Chirac, uh, with the casting and me. We organize a screening like here. Mm -hmm. Jacques Chirac come with his wife and some people from minister come. And after the screening, we ask to Mr. Chirac, please, can you change? Can you please uh, give the same pension to the soldiers come from North Africa, Africa, like a French soldier. And so why, what at the end of World War II, after the war was over, it sparked sort of the independence movement for Algeria? Yes, because at the end of World War II, the Algerian soldier come from Algeria, they think the freedom in, is for her too. Mm -hmm. You understand? But when they come in Algeria, nothing changed. Go. And nine years after 1945, it's uh, 1954, the war begin, the revolution begin. And then that ultimately ended with independence. In yes, yes, exactly. Okay. And my uh, last question is, what is it important for you to have the same three 
actors come back for the second film? Because um, I decide when we begin the movie, we do the second part, and after, in two years, we do the third part, about 50 years of immigration, with the same actors.